Here's a short update on my Raspberry C64 project. I made some small improvements to the hardware. First, I wrote a little Python script that switches on the LED when the computer boots. Second, I replaced the jumper cables that provided the power to the Pi. They were simply too thin and could not deliver enough power, which led to the Pi giving me the yellow flash warning signal. Instead, I am now using a normal power cable that I soldered onto the pins. Third, I installed a heatsink to better thermally manage the Pi. The large aluminium body did not add any height, but I had to change the nuts and bolts. The heatsink also included a little fan, but it was too noisy for my taste, in particular since it would be unregulated. After updating the Pi's firmware, I was able to boot directly from the USB SSD. There is no longer a need for an SD card. This makes the booting even faster. Last, I wrote a little script to deal with the keyboard. I now use the function keys as cursor keys. The default settings only allows you to move the cursor right and down, which is completely annoying when using a command shell. These are small tweaks that make the C64 Pi much more reliable and pleasant to work with.